Well, welcome again to another episode of Ready, Set, Grow. Today, I am sharing with you some information about how to go about setting goals for your social media. And the reason I'm talking about this is because it di relates directly to what you're going to be tracking to measure your social media. Now, social media could be measured, you know, when we look at it from the, the organic standpoint and from the paid standpoint, paid standpoint, you really want to hone in on what are the metrics that you are going to be measuring. But understanding what metrics you're going to be measuring, you have to know what your goals are. So I'm going to touch very briefly on goals and then which metrics you're going to be using to measure those goals. All right. So hi, and thanks for joining me. My name is Hilary DeFreitas, the marketing mom. I'm a social media manager, digital marketing strategist, also operations manager, because I've decided that, you know, engineering is everything. You know how they say marketing is everything and everything is marketing? Well, engineering helps too. And in that, when you think about data and analysis and social media, they kind of go hand in hand, don't they? But your goals, what are your goals for social media? Now, you decide what your goals are, but there are some general goals that most, most social media managers are going to want to know where do you fall, okay? Are you looking for increased in brand awareness? And brand awareness could be measured in different ways. Are you looking to grow revenue? Now, if you're looking to grow revenue, you're definitely going to have to think about some paid strategies as well as your organic strategies. Are you just looking for new traffic to your website or new traffic to your pages? Are you looking to increase click-through rates from your social pages to your website? Are you looking to increase mentions, at, um, the, the ads and mentions and those type of things? Or are you looking to build a community around your page? These are some of the goals that you need to think about. So I'm just going to repeat them quickly for you here. Increase brand awareness, grow revenue, increase traffic to your website, increase your click-through rate, and increase mentions, building a community. Now, one of the things that traffic goes along sometimes with the next metric that you're going to look at, which is, do you want to increase your leads? Now, a lot of people say they just want to make money off of social media. And that's great. You could make money off of social media. But before you do that, you need to build a brand, build awareness, drive traffic, generate leads, nurture those leads in a community, and then guess what? Get referrals, and then you can grow your revenue. So how do you measure all of these things? Well, tracking is important, very important. But brand awareness is basically how the people feel about you, those feel-good metrics, as I call them, your likes, your shares, your comments, your hearts, okay? You want to make sure that you have a way of capturing all of that information to be able to report whether you are increasing, decreasing. What's your goal? How many new likes do you want? Well, not likes because the like button is going away, but how many new followers, right? How many new friends do you have or new followers? Whatever the case may be, new connections if you're on LinkedIn. How many boards? How many people are following you? How many, pe how many people are you following? Same thing with Twitter, all right? Instagram. You want to, your brand awareness is measured by the reach and the engagement that's going on on your page, okay? When it comes to revenue, well, obviously we know revenue is tied to sales. Now, how do you track sales from organic social media? You've got to do your tracking. So you've got to get into Google Analytics um, in depth. You've got to set certain goals and measures and triggers inside of your Google Analytics so that you know that the post that you posted on January 29th is still tracking for sales in December, okay? The only way you're gonna be able to do that is through detailed tracking, tagging of your post and of your links, okay? That's the only way you're gonna be able to do it. If you're, unfortunately, your sales happen offline, well, then you're gonna to have to jump through a few hoops to be able to measure definitively that this social media actually impacted on these sales, okay? Um, traffic, again, you're talking about Google Analytics. How much traffic are you getting to your website? You want to be able to know from social. Again, this boils down to tracking, tagging, and your analytics. Increase of click-through rate. Guess where that falls? Google Analytics, 
tracking and your analytics. Now, there are other tools that you could use, paid tools that help you manage all of your marketing efforts, not just your social, your paid, your email, your organic. So there are some of those, but Google Analytics pretty much is covers most of it. You don't need much more than that until you get, you know, to different levels of your business. Okay. Um, increase in mentions. Again, you want to know who's tagging you, who's tra who's following you, and who's tagging you. Because once you start getting tagged, it means that people are actually thinking that you are uh, an authority in whatever you're seeing and they're tagging you so that they now start to build their brand exposure and building community if you've got groups you want to know okay what is the metric that you're going after number of new people added per month number of new people added per week all right you'll want to look at that and then the engagement there also facebook for example gives you engagement stats inside of your group so do you have a lot of sleepers in your group or do you have a lot of engaged people in your group once you know your goals you know what to measure all right and this is an aspect of social media that i really get tickled over because you know i'm an engineer and i love to know what it is that we're going after how we're going to set it up and then start tracking okay so Hope you found this this video this training very um info informational for you um go out there and start tracking something even if you just put a tag on a page so that you're able to track that naturally pay traffic is tagged easier and tracked easier than your organic but you still need to be able to measure these two things where are you getting your leads from, where you're getting your sales from, where you're getting your traffic from. And that's vitally important inside of the social media space. So go out there today and set new goals. If you're ready to have a strategy session with me, want to learn more about how I may support you in your social media management, you could click the link in the description below or send me a message if you're on Facebook or YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe and follow. All right. Have a great day. Bye.